Hello children, and today we're learning about shapes again. And today we're going to try and make our own shapes using some sticks and leaves that you can find around your garden outside. But before we do that, let's have a recap of some of the shapes we've learnt. So, if you know what this one is at home, shout it out. Caitlin, can you remember what this one is? Circle. A circle, that's right. It's got one curved edge. Uh, and if you know what this one is, give it a shout out. Caitlin, do you know what this one is? Square. A square, that's right. It's got four straight sides that are all the same. Now, if you know what this one is at home, give it a shout out. Caitlin, do you know what it is? Rectangle. A rectangle, that's right. It's got two long sides and two short sides. Thanks, Caitlin. And if you know what this one is at home, give it a shout out. Caitlin, do you know what this one is? A triangle, that's right. Need a little help with that one. A triangle, it's got three sides. One, two, two three. three. It's a triangle. Okay, so today to try and make some of these shapes, I've gone outside and I've picked up some leaves and sticks in my garden. And then I've also got some little craft sticks as well that I use to make puppets. So Caitlin, if we were going to try and make this triangle, what do you think would be the best thing to try and use? Um, those sticks. These ones? Yeah. Okay, why do you think we should use these ones? Because they're straight. They're straight, just like the sides of the triangle. Okay, right, how many will we need? How many sides does that Three. triangle have? Three. Three, okay, help me count them out. One. One. Two. Look, I've made a little pointy bit right at the top because the top corner points up. And three. And I'll put one bit across the bottom like that and I'll close it off. There we go. Okay, what about, oh, that one's running away but there. What about if I was to try and make this one, what would I need? Maybe you'll need these. Oh, some sticks again. Again, because that rectangle's got some long straight sides, yeah. but it's also got some short sides. So these ones are quite long, but what could I use if I wanted to make some of these short sides? Because the other ones are too long. Oh yeah, I could try and use some of my smaller sticks. Right, have we got some small ones that look pretty straight? Oh, that one's pretty good. Do you want to put that one on the top, Caitlin? This one. Yeah, okay, or that one. <laughs> Pop that one on the top. Yeah. Pop it on there. Whoop. And then we need another one, the same length that can go in here at the bottom. What do you think? Oh, I can see what looks like would be a good one. This one. I think so, yeah, that looks like it'd be a good one. See if you can pop that across the bottom. Fabulous, good girl. So now we've got a rectangle that's got two long sides. And two short sides. What about this square? What would we need for the square? Ooh. Remember, they all need to be the same. Okay. And how many of these will we need? Because we want them all the same. How many sides does it have a square? It's got four. four. That's right. One, two, three, four. All the same. And you've got four, like you are four. Okay. Can you lay them out for me then, Caitlin? Okay. So we need one that goes across. And then one that goes straight down. That's it. And then another one that goes across. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. And then another one that goes straight down. Perfect. Oh, make sure those are touching there. Perfect. Now we've got a lovely square. And all the sides are the same. Now, what about if I wanted to do this circle? Should I use some of these sticks? No. Why not? There's two straight and there's a new circle. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, right. So what could we use instead? <laughs> Some leaves. Okay, right. Should we try and make a circle with some leaves? I might have to move this square down a little bit if that's okay. Just to make a bit of space for our circle. Here we go. Move that down. Okay, let's pop them in there. So let's try and make a circle of leaves. These leaves are a little bit round as well, aren't they? A bit curvy. Okay, keep going round in a nice little circle. Here we go. You put one on and I'll put one on. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Round and oh, round it goes. Two stuck. Oh, two stuck together. Oh, that one needs a piece. Oh, that's a little baby one, isn't it? Yeah, that one away. Keep going round. You pop one on. Keep going round. So we've got to get try and get back up to the top now, haven't we? Yeah, Keep going back up to the top. I think we need one more. Can you put one more in that little space there? In that little gap? Oh, 
Perfect. And look, now we've made a nice round circle with a curvy edge. See if you can have a go at home too.